What's up, everybody? It's your boy D. I want to hit y'all with another video. Um, I want to talk about something that I felt like God was putting on my heart. Not long ago, I had posted a, a Facebook post and I was sharing my testimony um, just about how, you know, sometimes it really just don't even, it don't seem like to me, it don't feel like that there was a time in my life where, you know, I was waking up every weekend, I'd be hung over, I'd be coming down off cocaine, and uh, I mean, I would just spend a lot of weekends just throwing up, I would, I'd be sick, I'd be in bed, I wouldn't want to get out the bed, I'd be depressed, you know, and uh, I lived like that for a long time, and it's like, you know, God can deliver you in such a way where you don't feel like you used to feel like you won't look like you used to look. You know, it's almost like some of that stuff just never happened. But you know what's crazy? Like, when I think about stuff like that, one of the reasons why I lived that life as long as I did is because, you know, truth be told, like, I was scared. I was scared to come out that life because I felt like that I was going to be missing something. You know, like, I, I, I felt like that, uh, you know, those things, the that lifestyle, you know, the alcohol, the drugs, the partying, like all of that, it had such a hold on me because like I was scared to go with God. I was scared to, to go to church. I was scared because like, you know, I just felt like, you know, I was going to be missing out on uh, on the world, on the things that, that I was doing. And really, honestly, like that's just the lie of the enemy that I feel like he gets like a lot of people to believe. Because the only thing that I missed was torment. That's the only thing that I missed out on. You know, like there were uh, there were people that I still miss, that I still think about, you know, that, that I didn't get to see as much as I used to see them in the world. But, I mean, nobody in this world is worth your peace or your salvation. You know, and, and I think what happens is, is like, you know, we try to recreate over and over like you know our our past lust like um there was a time in my life where i mean the sin was very pleasurable like I, people that i used to hang out with a long time ago we honestly like we partied like rock stars for us to be living in nashville tennessee i mean we would be out all night long uh, there was after hours that they would have in Nashville and we would just, I mean, we wouldn't get to the club till like three or four o'clock in the morning and we wouldn't leave until the sun come up. And then after that, we would like just keep going on and on and on and on. And I mean, honestly, that was, that was, uh, I don't know how, you know, some, I heard some people talk about like, you know, sin wasn't, uh, you know, they never fit in and stuff like that. And, you know, it was, but that ain't my story. Like that was right up my alley. Like I went head first into darkness and I loved it. You know, and I think a lot of my old friends and, and including myself, like this was when I was like in my early 20s, even in teen years, I was getting in adult clubs and I wasn't even supposed to be in there uh, in 21 and up clubs. But we would try to recreate and relive those moments in our life. We want that we want that um, that lust to be fulfilled like it was before, because there's certain times in life where you reach a dopamine effect on your brain you know where especially like people you know uh i know men can relate to this when you have like that high sexual experience where the whether if it's you know that time when you have been with somebody that's really beautiful or a threesome experience or something when dopamine when lust just like grabs you and so what happens is we try to recreate that over and over and over that same feeling once you get turned out you try you just keep chasing that dragon over and over and over but what happens is like that after you know the enemy gets us and grabs you you never get that same effect again you'll just kept you keep feeling empty and empty over and over again trying to create something from the past that would never happen and that's what what happens with people with drugs like heroin and crack they try to uh chase that same high you know when people that are, are constantly just doing cocaine over and over after that first hit you just try to keep on getting that same effect and that's just how this world is it's 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 all vanity because we're all trying to like 
we're all searching and we're all looking for something to, that's going to bring that true fulfillment, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I, I tell you, my life changed when I really found out who my true source was. You know what I mean? When you see God as the source of everything that you need in this world, when you see him for he for who he really is, like your mindset will begin to change. And that's what I pray for people, you know, that really don't know God or that or people that are just like, you know, having religious experiences like God, show them, like reveal yourself, you know, to them. Like I said on my last video, it's a revelation that will change your life. You know, I, I, I'm very thankful uh, the way my life is now. I'm God has blessed me, y'all, in ways that I didn't even think was possible. You know, I, I remember how my life was. I remember how I was always just in and out of trouble, always getting kicked out of places. Uh, I could never keep a job. I just, you know, there was no hope in my life. And it's like I look at things now and I'm just like, God, I can't even believe that you've been this good for me. I can't believe that you would love me in such a way that you would open up all these doors and you know and, and all these connections and stuff like that but it's like I have to know that you know and I'm thankful for everything that all the blessings and all the people and stuff that is in my life but it's like I know where my source is you know like for when it comes to peace he is my peace that's my source when it comes to joy that I got he is the joy if you need healing in your body, he's your source of healing. He's your source of deliverance. You know, he, he's that source that will take you to the place in your life that you're trying to go to. Because honestly, like, God got everything in this world that we truly need to bring that fulfillment that we need. And if it don't come from him, I don't want it. If he don't want me to have it, I don't want it. The Bible says that every beast in the forest is his. He has the cattle. He owns the cattle of a thousand of a thousand hills. And the earth is the Lord in the fullness thereof. The Bible says he will hold nothing good from those who walk upright. But we just got to make sure that you're not more in love with the blessings than the blesser. That you're not more in love with the gifts than the giver. Because the thing is, like, people and things and blessings, like, they will come and go out of your life but God he remained the same like he's faithful he's loyal and the Bible says that he's the same today now and forever but it's just knowing this it's just knowing that you know like he, he's the source of all things because sometimes like you know with with these things of these of the world like we can make people, we can make places, we can make things like idols. And they always leave us unfulfilled and wanting more because anything that you put before God, it's going to become your God. And it'll eventually end up making you a slave. You know, I think like the, the question that, that people ask me the most, like especially for people who... Uh, who knew my past and people that used to hang out with me like they know like i kind of used to be like really you know just just crazy you know and truth be told y'all like i still am a little bit just like in a in a silly like good kind of way but like you know a lot of people want to know like how did you like get into that place like how did you change because deliverance looks different from for everybody like deliverance is the way that god did it in the bible like it wasn't always the same and for me honestly like you know, in 2017, uh, I went on a, in January, like I went on a seven day fast and I was just in prayer and in the word. And when I came off that fast, like I felt different. Like I just didn't have the same desires because, you know, a lot of times like preachers and including myself, like we'll, we'll talk about obedience and stuff like that. And that is true. Like you have, you, there is some things that you have to do, but when it came to me and the way that I was, like the way my mindset was, my desires just began to change. Like I didn't have a desire to smoke cigarettes no more. I didn't have a desire to smoke weed no more. I didn't have a desire to do drugs no more. I didn't have a desire. I haven't had a beer since like 2016, actually since coming into 2017. I hadn't had no beer or liquor because my desires changed. And with my flesh, the way that I used to get down, like 
the my flesh had such a stronghold in it and and the only way that i could really change this is for god to change me like i couldn't my i had to have a heart change and how i did that was just staying into his presence like i had to press into him by all means necessary by all means necessary i had to find a church that wasn't just a church where i just will go in and just come the same you know what i mean like i where a, a place where god dwells because god is everywhere but he's not dwelling in all churches you know like there there's some places that i've been to and it's 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 just like dead almost like there's no there's no anointing there's no feeling and i just had to stay in the presence of god sometimes i would just play worship worship music and just pray in the spirit sometimes i would get in the word you know because whatever you spend time with you'll become like i had to stay connected with the vine and that kept me delivered you know what I mean? Because if you spend time with God, like I said before, you'll become like God. Your mind will be his mind. Your heart will be his heart. Your ways will be his ways. But I think sometimes people just expect like a life change and there's no, you know, they, they don't have no uh, friends that, you know, are more knowledgeable than them. They have like no accountability that they're, they're not spending time with God. Spending an hour and a half in church, that's just one day a week. You know what I mean? But you got a devil out there that's looking to get into your life 24 7 like you really just got to press in with god and you got to trust the process too because like sometimes like i was talking about how we can get we can make we'll we'll fail at things you know we're like man i'm never gonna change but you got to trust in the power of god and not in your own strength because you can't do it in your strength but you got to know if you keep on you keep on praying sometimes you might have to fast you know that i i live a lifestyle of fasting because I need strongholds break uh, broke off my life. I was in the world spending time with with the devil for almost half my life, a good fifteen years. I was like loyal to the enemy, so it's like I gotta go just that hard with God, you know. And uh, like I said, I don't make a routine about it. I don't get religious about it. It's just I spend time with him, and you stay in his presence. You go to that secret place with him. Things will just begin to break off your life. Your mind will begin to change. I remember I came in, you know, to the Christian world, being a Christian and stuff like that. I'm like, man, how am I going to, like, you know, not cuss? How am I not going to swing on somebody? Because I just, I mean, I, I was messed up. And now that's just not in me because he's in me. You know, and, and one thing I want to say before I end this video for people like that, uh, you know that are trying and like that they feel like they're constantly making mistakes and they can't get it right one thing that you got to know is that that's that's a part of life you know and and it's not gonna it's not gonna be easy all the time like this week the enemy was just attacking my mind attacking my mind and i had to fight you know what i mean I, i'm not gonna be bullied by nothing or nobody no demon i'm not gonna let bully me and and i had to do whatever i needed to do to keep my peace you know it and it looked different different days some days i just had to wake up and just praise and worship some days i i remember i left i went on uh lunch and i just had to put the you know the word in my ear i had to pray you know what i mean i had to get my mind right i had to remember all the times that god has brought me through he didn't bring us this far to leave us you know you have to battle some days and i'm cool with that like i'm i'm not just gonna lay down i'm not gonna cry i'm not gonna god has been too good and when you take him for his word your mind will be able to change you know and and at the same time too like when you when you make mistakes you have to know if you really are saved in it and if if God is really living in you, that every mistake that you're making right now, everything that you are doing, like, you know, when you fall back and when you miss the mark and stuff like that, God knew that about you. He knew that about you when he saved you. If he saved you last year, he knew that this day or this week or whatever else you was going to mess up. But he still decided to put his spirit. He still decided to die for you. He still decided, he still decided to choose you and love you before the foundations of the world. And he looked at your life like you ain't surprising him. He knows the beginning and the end. He's the alpha and he's the omega, but he still loved you. And he still decided to choose you as messed up as we was, as messed up as we are. You know, we're not catching him on off guard. Our trials and tribulations, it's not scary to him. The things that we go through, he ain't worried about it. So why are you? He's not fretful. He's not looking at you like I can't believe that you did that because he knew you was going to do it before you did it. But he still chose you. So I'm going to end this video with that. I love y'all. Um, I know I said I was going to be able to have a testimony coming this week. 
Uh, I'm kind of behind on some things. I had some stuff happen last week that caught me off guard. So, you know, I'm going to... I'm going to work on it. I'm going to get to it, you know, as soon as possible. But like I always say, whatever you're going through, whatever is happening in your life, I just want you to know that God is your source. He's the source of everything that you need. And just when you see him like that, you'll fall in love. And I just want you to know, like, as I always say, that you can be free because who the son has set free is free indeed. I love y'all and I'm out.